One of the nice things in Montreal is that the whole town gets behind the Grand Prix and everywhere you go, it feels like there's a, a Grand Prix fever. Historically, Montreal has been the first low downforce circuit of the year, the first really high top speeds of the year. But this year, for the first time, would have been to Azerbaijan first but it's still a fairly unique circuit because it's through a public park, it's on public roads the rest of the year. It's, that means it's bumpy, the, the surface is uh, dusty to start, and improves a lot through the race weekend. Because you've dropped down force, that means you're going very fast at the end of straight and you're braking to low speed corners. So the braking becomes hugely important for the lap time and getting the drivers confident in the braking is one of the things we'll work out really hard with the setup. They then, most of the corners have a change of direction, so you need good front end in order to position the car accurately over the apex curbs. And if you can get that, then you'll be really fast around circuit Gilles Villeneuve. Yeah, one of the famous corners in, in uh, Canada is the, the final two corners. The wall on the right hand side as you exit the last one is referred to as the wall of champions because almost every Formula One champion at some point has gone into that wall. The reason why that corner has claimed so many cars is that the exit curb is all usable and on the outside of that exit curb is a, is a concrete wall. To take that chicane fast, you have to hit, hit both apex curbs as you go through. And each apex curb will unsettle the car so you lose a little bit of control. And the more apex curb you take, the faster you're going. As an example of how much can go on in the race in, in Canada, in 2011, I was Jensen's performance engineer and uh, I think he drove through the pits five or six times during the race. He was last at halfway and uh, he landed up taking the lead on the final lap. And uh, he only led for seven corners the whole race and still we went on to win the race. That was you know, a fantastic weekend and, and it shows quite how much can go right and also can go wrong very quickly in the, in the Canadian Grand Prix.